Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Starting the day off, well, we're actually starting the day off at Tea Supply. Excited. Yeah. This is the final cabin vlog. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so glad this thing's I know. This has I been, I mean, honestly, I had a good time. I learned a lot. The whole goal with this thing was to have a good time, make a bunch of content, and actually learn. Because, like, you know, this, in theory, if we ever were to do something like this again, not saying we're going to build another cabin. Hopefully we don't. <laughs> but we now know how it all kind of works. Like, yeah. the only way you learn something like this is by doing it. You, 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 can't, you can't go to school for these things, okay, folks? That's why I dropped out. So, anyways, today, today, yeah, it, it, it is, it is, because you don't learn anything in school. Okay, no, stay in school. I'm just kidding. Anyways, we're starting the day of tractor supply. Today is going to be a shopping spree for the interior. So, you guys have missed out. Everything up to this point, exterior wise, for the most part, is complete. There's a couple window trims and little things that don't matter. We also don't have a door, but we'll work on that today. But we're gonna try to get everything for the interior today, meaning furniture, stuff for the kitchen, dining tables, coffee tables, lighting, Christmas trees, fireplace. I mean, like literally everything everything from the inside. After today's episode, I should be able to live in this freaking thing. So, Tractor Supply was the only one that I could really find that had wood-burning stoves. I want to get wood-burning. A lot of people are like, get the hell it, get, no. We got to get the authentic, and they have, see, they have wood too. So we can we can buy some wood, so that way we're ready. Wood-burning stove, we got to keep it authentic. How's that going? That's a bougie chicken coop. That is a bougie chicken coop. We thought a red one was bougie. Yeah, Maybe but there's, they're like no, low-key pretty garbage though. This, yeah, it like, probably they're just, fall apart. Yeah, our, our red one wasn't that great. I didn't realize how small it was. It's three big cocks in there. Yeah, already yeah, dark. yeah, no, they make it look right. a lot bigger on, on camera. But yeah, see, we got firewood over there. Anyways, we're gonna head inside. See, this is our basically our only hope to get. Fireplace is like the number one. You gotta have the heat. Then the problem with it is you gotta get like the tubing and then we gotta cut a hole in the side of this cabin. And then I've never, I tried researching last night. Nobody's doing it the way that I wanted to do it. So oh, either right. I'm doing it the wrong way or we're just gonna have to improvise. You're innovative. Most people go out their route. I don't wanna cut through metal. I wanna shoot out the side. Oh, yeah, the we... side, like, we see where that bird is up there? Oh, I wanna God. shoot out where Buddy is up there. Out? Right out the side. I don't know if that's gonna work. So anyways, see you guys inside. Alrighty, folks. We already ran into problem number one for the day. That's got to be a record, guys. Oh, that's that was real quick. That was four seconds. They don't have what we came here for. I swear. I looked online last night, found this location. We literally drove. I drove an hour and ten minutes to get to this location this morning. Woke up early. And they don't have it. But the good news, they have this, which is all of the the pipe. So we're just gonna go ahead and buy what we can here. Found another location that has the stove. So we'll go pick that up later. But we're gonna have to backtrack and go to a few different stores. Like I said, we're trying to get furniture. We're trying to get stoves. We're trying to get tables, kitchen cabinets, and all that type of stuff. So we're gonna end up. Just just buying it's a bunch of chip I'm just gonna call it the chimney a bunch of chimney stuff and then I don't know where, where should we go next should we go to Home Depot for cabinets for kitchen stuff and then we're probably gonna have to go somewhere else for like couches or recliners or something all right well we're gonna get this and see you guys at Home Depot Shoo! all right well we made it to the next spot here we're at Home Depot but they don't really guy hitting your own truck huh they open but they, at six. Huh? It says Dude, six, I, six to nine is when they open. That's their hours. I see every, there's so, unless they're all doing curbside. I see one, two. I guess let's go in. Never mind. Maybe they are open. I see a ton of people in their car though. Why, why is it everyone, says six a.m. Six a.m. They open at six? Yeah, it's a, it's a hardware store. Dude, they go off. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that's some bread. I'll, Home Depot, I'll give you some bread. All right, well, let's, let's go in there then. Anyways, we're at the next spot here, folks. So we pretty much accomplished nothing at the last spot. We got a bunch of pieces of metal and ended up costing $300 somehow, which is insane. Um, Home Depot, though, should have the kitchen cabinets we're looking for well there's also a target over there i think we should go to target next for maybe some more furniture but we need you know a kitchen table a coffee table now i know i said in a previous video we we're planning on building everything but i also want some of it to look good too you know i don't want it to look like we built the bunk beds i mean we're still going to build some other stuff today i'm planning on building some workspace um but anyways home people should have hopefully what we need for like the kitchen so stay tuned tis the season folks well as in like the next day or two but what do you think about that guy he's pre-lit yeah no there's some cords right here that works pretty good. Don't that mean he's pre lit or no? No, I don't see any lights though. Well, I, there's no lights though. Do you do you see any? I don't see any lights either. I don't I don't think it is. We gotta get it. We gotta get a Christmas tree going in here. I said that on delivery day. I said the goal is gotta put Christmas lights on the cabin. The goal is to get it done before Christmas. And we're gonna complete that barely by a couple days. We also need some lights to hang out up front. So we can put some you were saying just staple them to the to the outside or whatever. Dude, our solar panels better just step up their game. So we're about to over, we're about to overload them with all the shenanigans we got going on. Okay, what's down here? Here's some Christmas trees. Here we go. Seven foot pre-lit. Right there, guy. You like that? Or do you want a four footer? That guy is 80 bucks. Really? You like him? I like him. Sure. He's small. All right. We're getting this guy. A little, little four foot. He, he sits in a flower pot. Yeah. Does that work? You're going to oh. grow him. I know I'm already getting hate in the comments. Hey, Flay, I can't believe you're buying a tree when you got all the trees in nature. You're on the cabin off grid and you're buying a tree. Listen, guy. Hey, we're saving nature. We're Look saving guys. trees. Also, live trees just make a freaking mess. And I ain't about to bring my Dyson down there to sweep up all the freaking little needles it drops, okay? That's all right. This is not at all what we came in here for, but we're getting it. What about lights? 
Yeah. All right, I want colors? some. Oh, yo, you know those are those are tree lights though. Are you need fat daddy bulbs like these guys up top. Where where do they sell them at? I don't see them. I see them up there. Are they sold out? Do you think they're supposed to be on that top shelf and they're sold out? Warm yeah. white. You just want they're white. white? But like that's the lights you want. Yeah. They're not as big as. Obviously. No. You want are you colored or white? My, oh no, you need my, colors. My house has white. I feel like I need color. Yeah, you need color. Okay, we gotta find. Wonder if it's so late in the season they just don't have them. Target. No. Do you think Target would have them? Maybe. Target might have some. Anyways, this is again not at all what we came in here for. I don't see any other Christmas lights though. This is literally like the section, but I don't see any. Unless I'm just stupid and don't understand how any of this works. Well, we can come back. At least we got a tree figured out. We might, maybe it's on the back side of this or something, but we gotta go to the kitchen cabinet section and start buying some kitchen cabinets. All right, I want like, a, I want like oak color. You know what I'm saying? Some cabin vibes color. It also needs to be pre-assembled because I ain't about to build this thing. I feel like there's got to be better cabinets than these, huh? These are just shaker cabinets. I mean, at this point, you might as well just build a build like a workbench. Is that really all there was in there? Oh, wait, what is this? Oh, here you go. This is some natural color. We could stain it. Definitely not going to do that, but oh, you, you could leave it raw color. He's only 150. That's a big, that's big daddy, son. That's what I'm saying. That would be... Big daddy. That, that, is, big, that is big daddy right there, yeah. You said you wanted counter space. For 150 bucks, though, that would be, the, that'd be what you want. That's oh, it's Light. Light. I say we just get that. I do honestly like low-key like the the raw look because the inside of the cabin's yeah, raw. Yeah, like we're making it plain Jane. This ain't oh, yeah. this thing ain't no bougie farmhouse. Okay, we got to make this thing realistic. But I do like that. That's gonna give you tons of space, all the countertop space you would ever need right there. So like, is there a thing for the sink? So I'm, I guess my question is, do you just get two of those? I mean, because what if we take? We're thinking about putting our blackstone grill in there. Yeah. So if we put the blackstone and then one of those on each side, would that make more sense than Big Daddy? Maybe. I feel like it would. It's more expensive. It is more expensive, but $50 more. it's 50 bucks more. I've never shot for kitchen things in my life. I didn't know it was so complicated. Yeah, that's Macy. She Macy uh, did everything in my house. Macy. Yeah, we should have. She would have. She would have done did it she good here. Had... All right. Well, I'll let you know what we get. All right, we figured out our problem. Her, we found a solution to base what we're doing here. So, we've got two. Sorry, yeah, we're in your way there. Two of these guys. So instead of going with the big guy over here, we're going with the small one here. Two of them. We got a big butcher block here that will end up cutting in half and then adhesiving it down to this guy. It's gonna be good. It's expensive. This is probably one, two, three, four hundred dollars for basically two little cabinets and then the countertop. But we got what we needed. The kitchen will be good. Like I so said, we're gonna use the Blackstone, big cooktop flat, flat grid, griddle style stove that's propane. And I'm thinking stick it and then put each of these on each side, rip that thing in half, adhesive it down, and we'll be good to go. All righty, folks, we're leaving here. We've got everything we need. We ended up grabbing a couple of rugs. I think that's it. From what I showed you, yeah, we've got a couple of rugs. Boot, boot tray for Banjo's Dirty Boots. And uh, we're going to load this up and head over to Target across the street to see if we can get a small dining table, a coffee table, uh, maybe some furniture, like some uh, couches or chairs or stuff like that. We also need Christmas lights. They had a tree, but they didn't have any lights. So, well, anyways, let's get this sucker loaded up. All right, your truck's next. My truck's tapped out, I think. I'm a big recliner guy. Yeah, you need all this. Yeah, I need the couch. You need the big stuff. All right, we're on Target. Shoo! All right, well, as you expect, Target had zero, nothing at all what we needed. Not even anything. I literally bought a pillow there. Just a freaking normal bed pillow. So, we went to Cabela's. Now you might be thinking, why in the hell are you going to Cabela's Furniture? Banjo requested camo recliner. So, we're going to go in there and see what they have. Maybe they've got coffee table. I was thinking, I'm like, do we need a dining table with, with chairs around it? I, we probably do. So, we're going to go in here, see if we can get some recliners. Maybe a couple end tables or a cool lamp or something. I don't know. This is this is why I don't like shopping, okay? Because we're like three hours deep, and we've got about nothing. An overpriced countertop that we still have to build. So, anyways, see you guys inside. Oh, oh, these will fit. Oh, never mind. They're a lot smaller than I thought. Oh yeah, we need three. Look at that. Oh, flip, flip it out. Let me see how this. Is. Uh, oh God, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll take I'll take three. Four hundred bucks. Sounds like so a steal to me. Well, see, they have that. Look at this. Yeah, they got they got end tables. That's cabin vibes. Right? This is cabin vibes. A little bass oh. lamp. Oh, they, dude, they have a bass lamp. Oh, look at these, dude. Why is Cabela's all of a sudden like the strat for? for Furniture. Look at the bedding. I want this. This is what I want on my bed. We got deer. Oh my god, we should have came here first. Look at these, all, all these sick freaking pillows and blankets. We need to find something for a twin. Here's your flannel set, flannel sheet set. Flannel would be good cabin vibes, I feel like, right? Queen. Oh, here, here's twin indi simple individual. Right here. That's for a twin. Really? That's cabin. It's got a little bears on it. Yeah, that's cabin vibe right there. Yeah. So that's just the sheets though. So we need to get three piece or what size is this? Full queen. Oh. They had twins. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Because we should just be able to find like a full. These Dude, these are dope lamps. Why did we not come here yeah, to begin with? Soap guy. We don't even have a. We don't even have a pooper. Twin comforter and sham set. That's that's way cooler. Twin comforter, standard sham fits. Pillow 20. I don't know what a sham is. This is the only twin. I like it though. It's good. Well, good okay, so do you want to do just just like a sheet for like the top and then have the comforter on the bottom because you like to see it? Well, you could put, well, then maybe just get a blanket. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like a throw blanket. Yeah, but like you have your sheets yeah, and then yeah, just yeah. like a blanket for whoever's okay. up there. All right, so you put that goes there, I think, right? Do you not want this then? No, no, so we don't need it. Oh, okay. We'll just do just a, blanket. a blanket. We'll do a blanket. Gotcha. Oh, Oh, we gotta get, that's a three piece three sheet. Pieces. Yeah, let's get this oh, one. Oh, yeah, get that guy instead. Okay. Lo it says lodge, lodge view. Okay. Oh, true. All about the lodge life. All right, we're getting this. I like this one. You want a pillow? Yeah, let's get, we'll get two decorative pillows. Really? We're going all out. Just take this, right? Well, that's a pillow. This is, your, this is your throw, no. Oh, is it a blanket? Throw blanket. Oh, it looks like a pillow. Yeah, we'll, we'll put that on top. Shoo! All right, well, we made it down to the cabin, folks, okay? We just, we couldn't make it all happen. We could not make the dining table or the coffee table happen. No, none of the places around had it, the, we, the kind we were looking for that weren't super expensive. We already spent like $3,000 today. I was like, I'm not spending another $2,000 on a freaking table, okay? So we got a folding table and that I already had at my house, no chairs. Um, but look at this, this is, that's nice. I like this because we're now we're just about to absolutely trash the cabin more, even more so than it already is trashed. Is uh, yeah, it's looking messy in here. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try wiping my feet off first. We did buy some mats, but this is like beyond mat capabilities of uh, cleaning boots. Try to clean up the cabin a little bit and then I backed it up here. We're gonna unload some. We don't have everything. We got both meals loaded. We still have the cabinets and the countertop. And then we'll need to bring the grill at some point. And Zach is grabbing the stove, so he should be here soon. So we'll probably bring the recliner in. So I think the recliner's here. I think we should sweep. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll do that first. So why don't we, let's break this down one half at a time. So let's take everything here, bring it over there, sweep it, clean it, take everything here, put it over there. And then when we need to work over here, take everything into like the middle and then clean that side. That, that sounds sure. good. All right, well, let's get this all cleaned up. Clean as it gets, boys. I'm kind of glad we didn't. We were gonna put floor down. I'm kind of glad we don't, cause like, look how dirty it's gonna get. It's just gonna keep getting this dirty. Like this mud ain't gonna go away until like freaking June. Like it's gonna be either frozen or muddy. And if you put brand new floor down, it's gonna be. It's not gonna be hard to clean. It's actually gonna be easier to clean than this. But I don't feel bad trashing this, cause it's already trash. So like, just a little bit less maintenance. So this is our temporary workspace. We obviously need to take a shovel and get this mud off. But we're only gonna track a ton more mud in today. And I mean, until this thing freezes solid, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a muddy mess. But anyways, I guess I didn't tell you guys if you're new. This is what the cabin looks like. Interior still needs work, but the exterior is done. I mean, clearly like we didn't do the little things like this or put trim, but we're just trying to get this thing freaking livable so we can actually start staying in it overnight. We got bunk beds and that's what we got the bedding for today. We got Cabela's bedding and we gotta get through recliners. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna unload everything from the mules in here, kind of shove it in this corner. We gotta run up and do another mule run, maybe in two, just depends on if, how much we can fit. Try to load everything up in here and then just start putting everything together making it making it feel homey welcoming like a little cabin so anyways stay tuned It's like what, two o'clock now? We got like an hour and a half of sunlight, freaking sick. But that's our stove top. This thing's a freaking absolute beast. So this is like, we may not get to this today. Fireplace is priority number one for me, but we were thinking originally put this in between the windows and put each countertop on the side, but we're not sure, like lighting is pretty harsh from there. Like if you're, see how dark my hand is versus like this, it's nice and bright. So we might be able to fit all three on this side pole jet. You think so? 
We might. Because look, they're really pretty small. So it's either going to be stove, counter, counter, or counter in the corner, stove right in front of this window, and then another counter. And then that wall would just be completely empty. You could put like your dining table, which we didn't get over there. But it would help with filming because if Pool Jet was standing there filming me this way, you could actually see. You would have this window, but that window don't get sun unless it's morning. And then we, we were still going to have to cut the butcher block, which I know is going to look brutal and it's going to ruin it. But it'll be good enough for today. So anyways, first things first, we got to do the, since it's nice outside, we need to get this fireplace done. So the fireplace that we got was the small one. What do you think? Do you, Zaggy, you, you use wood burning stoves? Is this gonna heat the whole cabin? Maybe, right? You think so? You're, are you, that was, I don't know if you're too sure. This is, this has 900 square feet. This cabin's like 380. Does square foot count for volume? You know what I'm saying? Like, how do they know that? I don't know. I might need to bring some like portable. I mean, okay, so I guess worst case scenario, we have to bring some propane heaters in when it's really cold, right? Yeah. Worst case. But like that would probably keep the chill off somewhat, you think? Yeah. Because how big of a how big of a big of a warm stove do you have, and how big is the building, like in comparison? I mean, we have one in our shop, and then one. Or, so, yeah, so we have one in the shop. So how big is the shop? About like this or bigger? Um, bigger. A little bit I'm bigger. Not sure, like how big? I guess. Okay. Is it like double the size? Is it like? Yeah, probably. So double the size is is your burner double the size? I'm not sure. They said 900 square feet. This thing's 300. Oh, we didn't, yeah. okay, so here's the thing. We didn't have an option. This was the only one in the entire area. So we're like, I think it'll work. It's at least, when I'm sitting here in my recliner, I'm warm and that's all that matters. Mm -hmm. If I'm up in the loft sleeping, I'll put a little portable heater up there if I'm right Get here. Get a nice blankie. Yeah, we just need some nice heat, like a heated blankie. You snuggle with banjo. Yeah, tr true, we could yeah. snuggle with banjo. But like, if you're sleeping on that, this that would keep this area warm and maybe you just need another little propane heater. Just put a yeah. carbon monoxide detection, you don't not know, yeah. wake up. You know what I'm saying? Really? Isn't that what propane heaters do? Or can you can you do that? Carbon monoxide. Yeah, or? like like you know what I'm saying. Like if you turn on propane, I just sat there and huffed it in. You'd probably die, right? I get high as heck. I don't know. Yeah, that's probably not good. I think you would die. Yeah. But I, a carbon I, I monoxide. I don't know. You have to let me know. Either way, <laughs> folks. I guess we're gonna try figuring out this fireplace. Like I said, we got all the all the tubing from this morning, and we're gonna run it up. So most people run it through the roof, but I don't really want to cut through metal. It sounds like a pain. Even though honestly, it'd be easier than what I'm about to do. But I think go straight up. We gotta we gotta center it on this post. Otherwise, my OCD is about to just freaking lose it. So it's gonna go up the post, not up against the post, but up the post, and then it's gonna shoot out right below that rack board and then it's going to go out up at a 90 and then up hopefully above the roof so it doesn't burn that metal or melt the metal if that makes sense you got instructions there's a picture yeah see there's it's legs, got legs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got so we got to do the legs first because then you, you got to know how high the, the doohickey needs to needs to go sure. can we to cut a freaking hole in this thing with the insulation and no you're gonna kill it man this is gonna this is gonna be a doozy this is, all right we're not gonna have this thing done before dark but we're gonna get close we're gonna try as hard as we can to get it i mean i bought wood i was that uh, ambitious i bought wood for this thing i don't know if we're gonna be able to use it or not i don't know either way we're gonna tear into this thing you guys stay tuned Folks, change of plans, okay? I knew we were doing this wrong. We even said it. We were both like, I don't know. He, he said Menards. We should have went. I, we I know. We didn't even, we're stupid. We didn't even look at Home Depot though to see if there was anything. Oh, no, yeah, but I, he, I started talking to Trevor Jay. Okay, Trevor Jay, he's built, he built a shed not long ago and him. put in a wood burning stove, kind of like this. So I was asking him about this. He told me you don't just run the pipe through the wall, which I assumed, right? Like a hot pipe on insulation and wood. This thing will be burnt down in two minutes. So Trapper Jay, he was telling me you can't just run that pipe through the, the deal because basically this whole thing will burn out, which we assumed. And we are a tractor supply and they had a little piece that I thought it's like two squares with a thing in the middle. They didn't have the right size though. And so I called Trapper Jay when I got there. I'm like, hey, can I run this pipe through there? And he's like, no, you'll burn it down. I'm like, I'm gonna have to run to Menards tonight. Um, I'm not even gonna take it as with me just cause I'm just gonna try to get it done. So we're gonna take a pause, but we got a good start. I mean, really all we gotta do then if we just buy that piece, cut a hole, plumb it out, shoot it up and we're done. We're ready to go. So tomorrow we'll have a fire. So this day, this video will continue into tomorrow. But I went up and got batteries and look at these gentlemen. They got the recliner put together. Look at that. Freaking beautiful pillow right there. And then this, look at this little dangle. We gotta change this bait out though. I don't know what that strat is. Need a little freaking Guggen clutch on there or something like that, but. Need a little frog on there. True, the, frog the filthy frog oh, just yeah. dangling. Look at that though, that's a vibe right there, boys. Pause on this. Definitely bought way too many of these, so maybe we'll return some of those because they're freaking expensive. And we're going to resume over here. So we've got stove that has Lucy hair. 
and then we've got this is our butcher block countertop so we're gonna have to cut that which i know you're not supposed to cut and it's probably gonna look bad and then we've got unstained unpainted cabinets i mean they were cheap i, I mean it really doesn't look bad because nothing in here is stained so like why you know what i mean like the bunk bed it, it looks good so we might end up staining them if we get bored one day we have a christmas tree we've got christmas lights put up we still have to put a door in we got a lot of other stuff besides oh, man, i forgot about the christmas lights yeah we have hey, to at least it'll be dark by then like, yeah true true yeah. put christmas lights up uh what else do we have to do I think that's pretty much it. Christmas tree? Christmas, yeah, Christmas tree. Oh, no, the door. I was saying the door. We gotta put the door up. So we oh, still have plenty of interior stuff besides the wood, but it look, so you can see what it looks like now. That looks good. It's look coming again. Look at that thing right there. So I'll do some more. I tried researching last. I'll do some more research. I'll make some, a few more. I have a few more buddies that have probably installed these. Really make sure we don't burn this sucker down. And I wanna buy a heat shield to put on that so we can actually back it up against the wall or closer to the wall so it doesn't intrude on our living room space. So with that being said, let's go ahead. We're gonna configure the kitchen here. Then once that's configured, we're gonna rip this thing in half and glue it down and do all that. So stay tuned. countertop with a saw. Look pretty. We didn't mess it up till about the end, but you can't really tell. The rough cut's not as bad. I mean, I could always take like a sander to it too and really, I got a little oscillating sander, but I think it looks pretty good. We're gonna have to wipe this thing down. So this is kind of how we have the kitchen laid out. Three and a half. There it is. There's your countertop. All right, well, one count. This is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna try gluing it down, but this is what half of it looks like. Well, the other half is already ready to go. Also put it on there, but it's looking good. I like it. It is a little bland. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You probably need to stain it. It's like it. granite. Yeah, rip. Yeah. It's like this whole cabin's just raw pine. That's the aesthetic. Raw pine. Anyways, countertop done. We got some weight on it, so we bought adhesive and lost it. But it's wood on wood, so we got some wood glue here. I figure that's probably about the closest thing you can get. So we wood glued it all down there. We've got some, that's as much as we can get for weight. Um, I tried running a bead like at the bottom and kind of, we could always throw some more adhesive or silicone or something up there. But now you can kind of see what the what the kitchen layout's gonna be. It actually changed. We were gonna have it over here, but it makes more sense over there. The lighting's gonna be better. So let's, let's give the folks at home a little, little example. So I'm over here. How's that lighting? Beautiful. See, that's what I'm saying. But over there, it'd be you'd be staring into the you'd be blinded by the light. Actually, yeah. you, the light would be blinding you. So, kitchen ish complete. We do need to clean some of this dirt up, but we've got a Christmas tree to hang up, Christmas lights to hang up. Should we do the Christmas lights so then people they can see what it looks like when it gets dark? Should that be our next step? Don't matter. We need that battery. I'd sure that's on. Yeah, we let the might want to let the sit on here for a minute. Then. Yeah. Let's do yeah. door first. Well, okay, so we've got we've got a whole a, a door here, like an entire door. In which, do we have enough, sh you know if we have enough shims? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen like the actual thing of shims in forever. Maybe so we need we to get shims tomorrow at Menard's. Save, because we don't have shims, that door ain't going in there. So, no. okay, just kidding, we're not doing the door. So let's hang the Christmas tree up. Hang, hang, hang it. Hang the tree, yeah, you got it. Put it together. Well, we were gonna do a dope time last until we realized the Christmas tree was put together, which I'm not complaining. That's the way I wanted it to be done. Pre-lit, pre I mean, I've never seen pre-ornament. Or or and pine cones. Ornamented, yeah. ornaments. That's sparkly pine cones too. But we don't, we need a topper. Oh, right. It didn't include a topper. Got to do one of these guys. See, we make it look bigger. Shit, look at that Christmas tree. I would have got a different one if I knew it was that small. Well, generator's on, because we've got a, we have a, a staple gun that's electric and that's the one that's working. So it's time to get, how's that going? I'll see if you can reach, perfect. Yeah, you got it. It's time to get these freaking Christmas lights up, boys. Right here, we're gonna, we're gonna get her strung across. Anyways, Christmas tree's up. We should have got a different one. That was $80. What a, look at that thing. Should have got 151. I know. It, it, it still shows a little bit of, yeah, the seven footer. But anyways, let's get these freaking lights up. Otherwise, we're just gonna kind of clean up, clean up this mess, and then tomorrow we're gonna have to finish the chimney and get the door in and basically finish the rest of the interior. But let's get the lights up. Look at all them 
Christmas lights. <laughs> it's not quite. Really? really? Who's that? Freaking crow over there. It's not super dark yet, but we re-hooked up the solar panel. I'm rocking on a sec. Zach's been scraping the floor for the last hour. How's that been going? It looks good though. Look at it. See, we were we, we originally were gonna put floor, like tongue and groove, vinyl plank. I kind of like the rawness of it. I also like how I just don't have to care and we can just scrape it with shovels because it's just gonna get dirty, you know? It's, it fits the vibe. It, this, it, this room is lacking some, over here mostly. It's lacking color. Like I wish those were just staying in like a darker oak or like a walnut or something, but because it's just all of it's kind of just plain colored. Anyways, so we rehooked the solar panel. If you guys missed that up, so we hooked up a solar panel right there outside, ran it through this window. So we do need to do that. We do need to pop a hole through the siding now. Not that the exterior siding, we're not gonna do that right now though. Um, at some point we're gonna need to do that. So everything's all hooked up, ready to go. We've got the wires running there and then wires running the outside. So are you ready for this? Do you, do you, do you, here, you can hang on to this. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll hit the button. I feel like, what's his bucket when he's like, I'm saying? Yeah, he does. Okay. Three. Two, one. They work? You can hardly see them, but yeah, they work. They worked? Yeah, they're on. No way. Look. They worked. You can't see them very well. Oh, no, you can see them a little better Can you see? Come, yeah, come look inside. Come look at the tree. Look in here. We got the lamp over here. Look at that. We've got the lamp in our... Man, that is that is, that is a huge letdown, I will I say. Like I, I wish it was... Big and full tall would have looked so much better with some colorful lights on it. But at least it's better than nothing. So look at it. See, it's actually, what's the lighting look like? I guess I bought this new fancy camera and I can see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. See, lighting's okay about right there over here. It's not, look at, look at this. Look at the cabins all lit up. This looks good. I like this. Look, perfect. We do need some, I think th that lamp's, oh shoot. We've got this. We could, let's, let's try it. I want to, I want to test this sucker out. I got to make sure this lamp works. Let's go move this. Even though this is not where it's gonna go. What just happened? I just stepped. <laughs> I just stepped on the plug and my foot broke. Rip. You ever just step on the plug? Dude, that was like stepping on a giant Lego. Oh, oh my, God. my foot. You went down like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> I went down like Ralph when I told him to cush. Oh my God, my foot's broken. Oh, I stepped on that sucker. That was literally just like stepping on a freaking Lego. Okay, well, sorry. I put this back up here. Lucky this thing's still together. I just want to see if this thing works. We need a, so we got to get another extension cord because we'll run it here around behind me and then back over to the recliners. But we'll see if this, see if this lamp turns on. You're supposed to unscrew it oh, while it's on, right? I broke it when I fell. Oh I my. thought I heard something huh. break. How hot is that? Oh, it's hot. Hot, 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 hot. hot. Take it. No, nope. set it down. What? Set it down. Set it down. Boo! They should make it where you tug on this. And That's a means action. Look at that lamp, though. That's a nice lamp. That that's gonna fit perfect. And then look at this guy. Oh, dude, I'm so pissed these don't rock. I know. Who I makes a recliner that don't rock? Like this, I just want to be doing this right now. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. Oh my god. Why do we even have a bed? Oh yeah. Dude, I'm serious. This is way more comfortable than a bed. Oh, I could fall asleep right now. We do need, speaking of the bed though, we gotta get the bedding on the bed. We only have one mattress. We, we didn't buy another mattress. It, dude, we I went to nine stores. We went it, to nine right? stores and they didn't have a mattress, but they also didn't have anything else we needed. We'll move it down, but is there a mouse poop up there? Rip, get off there, mouse. We'll move it down below and then we'll get another mattress and we'll have to, I'm not buying, any, this was like $200 bedding with everything in total. I'm only doing that for one of these. The top one, you're getting plain Jane. We gotta keep it bougie for, the, for this guy, so. Wow, that sounded good. Yeah. There you go. Oh, God, yeah. Well, this is nice. I honestly, I'd rather lay on that recliner, though. It's way better. All right, we got that We got that bedding. Oh, yeah, right over there. Comforter. What is a sham, Zach? You know what a sham is? No. Red. Fitted sheet. Sheet. Comforter. That's all you need. I'm thinking like the sham, sham is like... like I think, wait, no. I'm pretty sure a sham's like a type of pillowcase. It is, it's on a pillow. Yeah. Why don't they call it a pillowcase? Because it's a sham. No, it's a pillowcase. No. It's a case no. for the pillow. This is about to be the, a mouse's heyday. You don't make your bed in the morning? No. Oh, that's like number one step to failure in life or something like that. It all makes sense now. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. You don't make your bed every morning? No. Okay, that's what I thought. That's why I'm here. Oh. Red. <laughs> Did you ever own a bunk bed when you were a kid? Yeah, I slept on one for a long time. Really? Did you have to like share a room or was like yeah, it for yourself? Yeah, my brother. Oh really? Yeah, he hated me. That's fine. I'd hate me too. Dude, making a bunk bed low key sucks. <laughs> Cause you can't like stand up and like do anything. You just have to. I guess I never thought of that. Yeah, I know, right? You don't think about it until you're like, wow, how in the hell do you make a bed? 
Are you good? Dude, I gotta get Crocs on. This is a liability with bare feet. Shoo! We should, we should open this up on Airbnb. Would you I'm guys done. stay here? It really would be a cool Airbnb. Think about it. You would have two ponds to fish, 80 acres of land. You could harass Ralph and Dale if you want. And you got a place to sleep. If you guys want us to open up on Airbnb, let me know. I do kind of want to climb up there. I feel like that's, is that a good POV, Zach? Zach's into POV, so let's see what he thinks. See any deer over there? Nope. I wouldn't be surprised if they come walking down. It's about that right time of night. How's it look from up there? Dude, this cabin looks sick. It looks sick. Look at it. It's so, it looks so good. I'm so happy with this. Look at that. Look, it's just such a cool looking cabin. We need another bed. Probably at least one more bed up here. I mean, you could do two if you wanted to. You could lay like one, two. We got our window. Thinking maybe another bed or two up here. Obviously need another bed on the bunk bed. But look at this. Oh, you could definitely fall asleep right there, huh? Oh, I'm about to. Dude, this is, we're gonna spend a lot of time here. This is gonna be cool. We got the kitchen finished. I mean, not everything's like completely, completely finished, but it's as of tomorrow, after, after we get the fireplace done and installed, we'll actually be able to stay here because it'll keep us warm because on tonight, we'd be, we'd be pretty cold in here. Um, but once we get the fireplace going, um, what else was there in the door? Once the door goes in the fireplace, we're going to work on that tomorrow and a couple little things here and then we'll be ready to rock and roll for the first night camping at the new cabin. See you guys tomorrow. Shoo! All right, well, we're back, folks, the next morning. We actually brought the dogs down. Oh, uh, Luce, oh, shoot. She might be able to walk out on there. It wasn't, we didn't even talk about it in the video. It was the exterior video. Uh, Lucy went out there. Yep, there she goes. She didn't learn her lesson clearly. She went out there and fell through the ice. Lucy, I don't want to babysit you all day, buddy. You got to You got to learn to not go out on the ice. Uh, okay. All right. Got it. Just make. Okay. All right. Anyways, um, we got all the right pieces. We reloaded up. I went and bought more than we needed. So what you need to do is once you're on the exterior of the cabin, you're supposed to have double wall, which we didn't know that. See, what's crazy is as much research as I did on this, I couldn't find like one video where a dude's like, hey, if this is your first time building a wood burning stove, these are the parts you need. There, nobody says that. Like it took me like three days to acquire the basically the tools and the components that I needed. I'm still not a thousand percent sure it's what I'm gonna need but I think we're gonna get we're gonna get close enough to make something happen today but it's it is pretty incredible so I will walk you guys through and I'm not saying I did it in exactly the right way but I will walk you guys through exactly how we're gonna do it so this is single wall this and then once we shoot that way we're gonna go double wall so what goes through your wall and then what sticks outside is double wall and then you need like some brackets and some supports and a bunch of other stuff that again I had no idea that we needed like no one out there said that hey these are the parts you need so basically through research I talked to Travis for Jay a little bit because he's he's built one of these. I think we've got what we need. So that's the priority number one because it's kind of chilly in here, boys. I like to get I like to get her fired up. Yeah. And probably that a door would probably help keep it warm yeah, too. Yeah, probably. Just a little, just a nah, little bit, no. just a little bit. So priority number one is Lucy don't fall in. Priority number two is get the stove put in. Priority number three is get the door put in, and we'll be good to go. So we're gonna unload, start unboxing, unpackaging, and then basically we just gotta. I just need to bring a ladder in here, mark a hole, plow a hole through. So the other thing that I figured out is. Do you want to move this any closer or no? That's up to you guys. So some people, they'll put it a lot closer and then they put a fire shield. A fire shield could be literally whatever though, like a piece of metal. Oh, really? Like it could be whatever. We wanted, it felt like it was kind of in the middle of the living room, but I feel like, I, I, I don't think leaving it right here would burn the place down. No. And then we wouldn't have to put anything. Or we could bump it back and put a piece of metal. Cause this, you don't have to put anything behind this. This is far enough. Yeah, it's far. it's this. Yeah. Trying to think of how far back we need to go. We want to go any bit further back. We could probably go back just a little bit. Either way, we're gonna pretty much call it good here. Either way, the, the hole's gonna be in the same spot whether you go forward or back. So let's get up there and start cutting some holes. Banjo, where you at? I'm coming. Banjo. I'm trying to walk. Look at my port. Look at the hole I just made. Look at this. That's a nice hole. This is a, this is a neat hole. This was. It looks good though. It was a little tricky to get. We just got to cut a huge hole. Look at this guy. How's it going? Hey, how you doing? All right, let's go get the outside. Yeah, put that put that little plate on there. All right, well we're gonna go. I gotta climb down this ladder without dying here. We're gonna go. So I got the inside done, and it looks clean. Look how good that looks. Yeah, Banjo, you got it. We gotta go to the outside and attach. The outside, and then as you can see, we move the stoves. So the stoves here. Well, that's what it's gonna look like, right there. There's your 
here's your hole. And then we're gonna run our pipe through it. And it looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty impressed with how we, it, it, it may not seem like a big deal to you guys, but cutting a hole through the cabin and then making that thing fit is, uh, it looks good. Like I said, I'm happy with it's quite it. quite a doozy. It was a little bit of a doozy. Hey, the, old you, you gave, the old saws I gave me arthritis, I think. My hands are just getting it right now. But there you go. look at that guy. How's it going? Hey, you got it. All right, well, let's get the outside put in there and then we just gotta run the tube out and should be done pretty quick. It's giving it a little bit of a lean, but I think we got her done dead there, folks. We do we didn't get the right uh what do you call this thing? The rain shield cap yeah. thing. I don't think it's the right one. It didn't really fit the right way. I think we're missing an adapter. It's just a rain cap. So I do need to get up there once we get the new rain cap, get up there and cut just a little bit of that metal off the roof, just a hair. That pipe is close to the the building I know, but based off the support, we really couldn't go out any further. Um that's because we got those fly rafters that are that are sticking out. So I don't know how far that pipe's supposed to be from the wood, but since it's double insulated. I don't think we're gonna really have to worry now I'm really glad we did it up insulated because we didn't well our, the whole cabin would probably light on fire if we ran just single wall pipe up against the building like that but we got the support in and then in here we just clean these floors now they're just an absolute mess this mud sucks how's that look Shoo, that looks like some Great. professionals did it oh we could we could screw we, we should at least screw the bottom in just the the very bottom what's uh, up did you find that light? no but I bought a new one did you bring it out yeah yeah, oh. yeah but actually no this is off grid okay Matches? Matches. <laughs> Long reach matches. Oh, I wanted the short one. No, no, no. I'm trying to burn yourself now. Yeah. Is this all it goes in? Yeah, so that's what we got. Let's screw that in real quick. Just okay. that'd be it. Dude, it looks good. I like it. It, it literally looks like some, some professionals built this thing. Look at that right there. Beautiful. So we're going to get screwed in. Kind of clean this up a little bit. Oh, we need to put the door in. I knew we were forgetting something big. Pull it up. Door. Uh, yeah, we probably should put the door in because the next one you see that at the cabin should be staying in here. This, um, let me. Th you think these cap countertops stuck on there? Oh yeah, she ain't coming off. Glued that on there? Yeah, we glued it. We got some wood glue because we we couldn't find the silicone that we bought. That. No, we no, we cut this in half. This oh. was one long butcher block. Yeah. I cut it and stuck like it on it. there. So it, these need to be stained, but they were cheap, so we ended up going with those. But all right, so let's go ahead. Let's get it all cut up, ready, and we're gonna get a fire going, and then. You want a fire? You want, are, you, are you cold? You guys are all muddy. Look at these muddy dogs. We're gonna get the fire going while the fire's starting up, kind of heating it up. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to get the door. Oh God! Rick. See, that's what I'm saying. Off grid, baby. You can't have lighters, dude. You gotta have one of them suckers. That's the way to do it. So you light it. Let's go. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah. You never. You strike the yeah. paint. How do you normally light matches? Well, I've never seen it on a like, box well, like, like this. The little ones, but yeah, they, yeah. I, that's what I'd assume. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I don't know. This was weird. I expected it to be like a little, like a pad. Oh, little, little, little striker. Right there, what yeah. do I need? Was it uh, just a Phillips? It's a Phillips, yeah. Just, okay. just a little Phillips guy. All right. That, is it? Hey, is that crooked? Already. Yeah, that's crooked. This whole thing just needs to move a little bit. See, if you look up, see how it's just, yeah. But <laughs> they're all level. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They're all this way. So if we just pick up the stove itself and just shift it a little bit, we'll be good. So let's get her screwed in and get the fire started. All right, well, our screws didn't work, Millie. Is there a break-in period? I feel like there got, there's got to be something, right? Just start a fire? It's not a motor. Someone, I, somebody was like, how to do like the first lighting of your fire. It was like of a stove. They probably just assume you don't know how to do it. We got some bag firewood, natural. Dude, why do you guys have to be right here? It's not a bag of treats, you know that. No, it's not. Can you get out of the way? No, Lucy, Lucy, what's that? You want this? Right. Fetch. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. All right, first light. Wow. wow, she's getting it. it. Smells good. It does smell pretty good. Hey, you got it. Hey, you're getting smoke in here. That cardboard didn't. That cardboard didn't do nothing. Well, are those starter blocks or what are they? These guys? No, they're just regular firewood. New Mexico pinon wood. Why do you say it like that? Because there's an enye. Ooh. It's an enye. 
The little, oh, the little squiggly guy. Yeah. yeah. You want this anymore? The cabin's rushing. No, the cabin's built. Oh, this fire's really getting it. What'd I say about using matches? Why was this a good idea? I don't know. I like. I, I like. Don't, I, don't I don't think you gave. Oh, it was off grid. Oh yeah, true. You probably should have put all the paper on the bottom. Yeah, I know. Then, I know. I just wasn't you're thinking. You're supposed to start your fire. Yeah, I know. I know. I just wasn't thinking. Oh wow, it's getting it back there. Get a shot of that. Oh god. Yeah, she, oh, yeah. she's giving her hell. Oh gosh, yeah, it's hot. Is it steamy? Just give her one of these. We'll see what happens. What if this thing just explodes because there's too much? Like, that thing's loaded. You're not supposed to probably load them up that much. The thing's completely just packed. That's good for it, I heard. Warm? No, this isn't, but feel this guy. Oh, yeah, that's because the fire's way back there. Yeah. All right, well, let's let, let's let that do its thing. I think eventually it'll start burning. Let's get this door in. Oh! Getting it? That tin was going to be on fire in about two oh, I was going to say, is that, is that tin just getting... Oh, yeah, it's getting burnt. Really? <laughs> hey, you wanted to trim it, right? Yeah, let's let it melt off. Oh god, yeah, that's how you start the whole house on fire. Good thing that's a double wall. Oh, if this thing burns down, I'll let you know. At least there's a pond here. Oh, that doesn't really do us any good, but... We can run some buckets up there, I guess. Slam that door. Boom. Boom. I don't think they gave me a door handle. They might have. I don't. I have no come on, idea. Man. Come on, buddy. Come on. Buddy. Come, on. Come, come on. on. I know we gotta build. We gotta build real steps, there, buddy. Look at this door. Hey, don't touch that. Who's it? Hey, that's hot. So obviously it'll latch once we put that do that do hickey on. But that's essentially what's gonna look like. Now it is fully enclosed, ready to go. Obviously we saw some trim pieces like you know around here, but that's minor, minor. We can stay in it now. And we got the lights on. I turned I turned the uh, solar panels on. We got the lights, the lamps, and everything's looking good, dude. It's warm. It is warm right, right here. It's really really warm. Yeah, this is your fire. Yep. Ooh, look at that guy. Ooh, yeah. See, I know how to make a fire. Lucy, that's gonna be hot. Look at that fire getting in there. Hell yeah. Ty has to clean out the ashes. Yeah, Ty, Ty's on ash duty. Anyways, this is looking good. Still need to do, obviously, some trim work and, you know, cover up. It's just little things, minor details. Take a day and we could probably get it all done. But for today's episode, interior-wise, we got our cooktop, our countertops. We're still, I ordered a kitchen table. We're working on the kitchen table. We were, I think we're gonna, we're vetoing coffee table, right? Yeah. Not, if anything, maybe just another one of them. You know what yeah, I mean? I, I would like two of those. Two, yeah. two, two of these guys? Because would you want- How's that going? Light. Yeah, we got well, we got these again. My, minor things. We're not doing no light today or anything like that. But you could put another end table over here, so that way each person has it. Well, we didn't we didn't want to put it here because then it's really close to the fire, and like to be sitting here and watching TV, like that that is already in the way enough, and we couldn't really go back with it much more because we we're worried about that being too warm. Millie, get off the bed. Mill, you're gonna get it muddy. Banjo's not gonna want to sleep on it now. Hey. My bed. Like you got a comforter, you open it up and it's clean. What if the dogs get bottom and I get top? Anything about that? Yeah. Look, look. Oh my god, they're, look, oh my god, this is just covered in mud. I just bought these. Look, oh, look at how cute the dogs are, though. You guys like this? Look, they love the cabin. They're all about the cabin life right now. Dogs, you get to sleep here. I'll get another bed and I'll sleep here for our first overnight in the cabin. So, comment down below, what do you want to see me do? Um, we're gonna spend the night in here um, first overnight. I don't know when it's gonna be over the next few days Hopefully we'll clean this all up We got to take all this this all has to be returned to the store and kind of get it all cleaned up swept out ready to rock and roll And then we're gonna stay in it overnight Obviously the pups have already claimed this spot. So I'm gonna have to get how's that going? By the lights, look. Yeah, I want the warm you want the warm light. Yeah, so then because then it matches the other ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're thinking we'll probably we could screw you can screw that to the ceiling So I was just thinking like run some extension cords like you could tuck almost extent could you almost yeah You can I mean like you could put them here and get staples Yeah, and just staple them because I was thinking put it over the cooktop So then you have some light over the cooktop like right here. I think that would be the way you could even run extension actually Look at this. Look, it fits perfect. It fits. Really? That's sick. Would That's you pretty like impressive. Where would yeah. you like it, sir? Uh, I, I don't I want to install it yet. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Easy peasy real quick. I'm not I'm not sure where I want it yet. Well, I mean, sure. if you I want it over here. Like over way over way. the cooktop, you know. Yeah. So like a, like this. So if you're you cooking, want it the other way, don't you? you want yeah, the other way it would make more sense. So like this. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I didn't know he, you're saying, he's saying you want it on yeah. that. Yeah. Well, just just so it's on, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, so you if you're over here we'll chefing, do that later. you're chefing. Yeah, that's that's look what look I said later. Yeah. Oh, well, what the heck? But what you could do is you could run your cord the and then run it down and then run your extension cord on the floor, so you don't even have to, and then just run it and plug it in. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. One of them deals. So 
We still, have, oh my God, you guys are adorable. I cannot believe I just spent like $200 on all that bedding for you to get on there covered in mud. Well, it was like, it, I spent, dude, between today, like all the metal and every, I probably spent like three, four grand over the last two days. It's it's so dumb how expensive this is. Look at that. that that's, that's priceless. You see that? That's priceless, right? Look how cute they are. They, they, they're a big cabin dog. So I guess they're getting bottom bunk. I need to go get a new bed for the top bunk and we're gonna do a little overnight sleep session. Yeah, you get you get the loft. Actually, oh, I, I just ordered uh, I just ordered two twin two more twin beds that are actually more comfortable. So that actually works, would work for the like, dog bed because that's actually kind of a kind of a crappy mattress. So I got some two more new mattresses that are a little bit better, but. How's that going? We need to trim that off too. We got, there's a lot of little things. Maybe that's what I do on my first overnight is I just sit here and you know, do some chores, play some COD, go shoot a squirrel or you know, one of them deals, hang out, hang out with the dogs. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is the final episode. Long, it was, a, it was a long journey, boys. I also realized that window's open, so that's probably not helping our heat situation. It is warm right here, though. Like, this is really warm in here. I will say There's this. There's like three windows open. Do we? So it's probably good this for ventilation. It's years. probably good for ventilation. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this entire series. This is the last episode. Like I said, the next video at the cabin you guys are gonna see is the first overnight stay where we're really gonna put everything to the test. The solar panels, the bunk beds, the fireplace, because obviously if it doesn't work, we're gonna die. Play some college, all that fun stuff. So hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Thank you for tuning in and peace.